Hey everybody, it's Reckless. So in this video, I will be going over the NetDuma R1 firmware 1.03.6. Now, if you guys don't know what a NetDuma is, a NetDuma is a router that is supposed to dominate lag in gaming. Now, I actually did a video on this and I will put a link to that in the description below. It was uh, just a short unboxing and a couple of other things. Now, for this new firmware, the 1.03.6, I will put in the description where to download that and all the list of changes that has come with it. So, let's get started. Now, as you see right here, this is the main page for the NetDuma, and everything here is on stock. Now, before I even get to select games and services, we're going to go straight to the geo filter, where most of the magic happens with this uh, router. So this is the geo filter. Now, what geo filtering does is once you set your home location, you will only connect to servers in that radius. If you would like to connect to servers outside that radius, then what you would have to do is click on it and then add it to the uh, deny and allow section. And it'll, if you allow it in 100%, it'll show up here. It'll go by percentages. If you deny it, then it'll show up on this side. Now, you could pretty much set your home location to anywhere you want and you won't have an issue. You can also zoom in as close as you want. Now, with the select games and services, what you want to do is select it and choose which one of your devices you want to add to it. Another addition that they actually did with this is add an enable button, which I don't see really much of a use for it. But that's what they did. Now, for your congestion control here, Normally, these will be at 100. This will be in preemptive. And this pretty much shows all your devices that are on your router. What hyper traffic does is let's say all these devices were on and soaking up all that bandwidth. Once you add a device to hyper traffic, yeah, that device that you added will not be affected by any of the bandwidth lag and it will take priority over all of the other devices connected. And you can also set your uh, bandwidth here. Click on that real quick. Best place to do this is speednet, uh, speedtest.net, sorry about that. And once you find your uh, download upload speeds, press them, hit update, Bandwidth, hit yes. A lot of set settings will change once you do that. So just be aware of that. Whoops. Next, we do have your OneTouch VPN. Once you click on it, um, it will enable VPN. However, I'm not entirely sure if you need to update your VPN connection settings or not. Just in case, I just click them just to have you know, the VPN. As for profiles, this is another change that they actually did with this firmware. Now you can load profiles, manage profiles, and save your own profiles. Um, currently it is on gaming, uh, general gaming. Now the only one that actually changes out of all these is COD Ultimate, and that's just these settings. However, internally, if you pick a different one of these, then Settings will change in the geo filter and I'm pretty sure other places as well. I normally play Destiny, so I would go on the Destiny profile and upload profile. Now, I'm going to mess around with these settings a little bit. And if I find settings that I actually like, what I can do is I can save those settings and I'll put it on the profile name created by description, save whatever settings that I feel is good. And then after that, I can export those settings to the NetDuma forums. That way other people can actually use them as well. 
Next is your network monitor. Now this shows you all your devices that you have here. And down here, it just shows everything that's going on with your network. Really, I'm not doing much except for making this video. So nothing would really pop up here. That's my PC and the green is my PlayStation 4. My PlayStation 4 is on um, a little hibernation thing, so that's why it still shows. As for device manager, this is where you go to obviously manage your devices. Hit edit, you can add, you can um, change IP addresses and go from there. As for your internet diagnostics, you can run a ping on your internet. Host analysis is only for PC, and for consoles, you would have to go to the geo filter and actually use the ping button. You can go to help tours, and obviously you can take a tour of everything. For settings, you can set up your Wi-Fi. You can either enable or disable it. Uh, port forwarding, set up the name, the starting port, end port protocol, IP address that it's supposed to be linked to, and this is the ports for the PlayStation Network. You got your UPnP, I usually keep mine enabled. Here you can set up your LAN, DSAP, DNS, um, IPv6, MTU. Then you have your DACP lease where you can set up all your MAC addresses. Don't try to take my MAC address, I will hunt you down. You can set up your WAN. Pretty much anything that has to do with WAN is here. And then you have your miscellaneous settings. Now, sometimes when you activate settings and you do not have enable cookies, it will reset everything. So make sure you have enable cookies ticked. That way you won't have an issue with that. Next, you got your support, your manual, your forum, your time. You can actually set the time if it is incorrect and upgrade. So after you download the newest firmware, and if you actually just got a NetDuma R1, you will not have the newest firmware on that NetDuma. You probably would have a stock factory uh, firmware. So once you download it, and again, I will put a link to that in the description below, you're gonna click choose file click on the actual download and hit open once you do that you can hit upgrade now i've already done this so i'm not going to do it again so that concludes everything for the netduma r1 firmware for the version 1.03.6 again i will put a list of all the changes in the description below that way you guys can actually read what is actually going on. Now, if you do not have a NetDuma, I suggest you get one. And the reason for this is this thing has tremendously fixed so much when it comes to lag. And I wouldn't know what I would do without it. I really don't. I previously had a Netgear Nighthawk R7000 and it was okay, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So what I did with that is I changed the firmware to a DDWRT firmware and even that wasn't enough. The NetDuma is the only router out there right now that has actual active geo filtering. And truthfully, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, I probably wouldn't go back to any other router unless NetDuma came out with a more um, advanced router, then I probably would go to that. So, let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments below. This is Reckless. I will see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, you get hurt, hurt them back. You get killed, walk it off.